Uh, the pressure is a little greater up the interstate in Columbus, where Ohio State begins its new season rank number one. First time that's happened under coach Jim Tressel. And while some fans might be peeking ahead to next Saturday's rematch with Texas, now the Buckeyes need to deal with Northern Illinois first. Sellout of 103,896 at the Horseshoe. They got to see that high-powered Buckeye offense early and often. First quarter, Troy Smith, quick drop and a strike. Ted get in the end zone. That's good for five yards and six points. Two minutes later, it's Smith with the play fake. That's a nice one. He looks downfield wide open once again. 58 yards for the score. Four passes, 123 yards. And Smith's fabulous first half continues. Third at five at the 15. Anthony Gonzalez in the middle, four, six. Smith's numbers, 18 of 25, 297 yards, three touchdowns. Buckeyes defense, not too bad either. Larry Grant gets the pick. Looks like he might go the entire distance, but Oh, he slips. Can't quite make it. However, the top-ranked Buckeyes win their 28th straight home opener, 35-12. The final, Joe Daneman has more from Columbus. It's said the Sports Illustrated cover comes with a jinx. Well, maybe not for Troy Smith. The Ohio State Heisman hopeful quarterback started the 2006 season the way he ended the 2005 season by making big plays. And those big plays helped the Buckeyes build a big first quarter lead and put Northern Illinois away before the end of the first half. That was unbelievable. I don't think I've been anything, you know, a part of that this, you know, since I've been down here. And anytime we can put 28 points up in the first quarter, I hope that we're going to at least come out with a victory. So it gives you a little comfort feeling. and. I hope we can maybe do it again sometime. Huge boost. I mean, considering especially all the uh, hype we're supposed to be getting offensively, uh, you know, saying that's the reason we're now we're number one and uh, two Heisman candidates. I mean, the list goes on. So, I mean, coming out firing, I think maybe sent a message and, uh, you know, it was a great way to show how we need to get started quick. I thought we did a good job the whole way around. Uh, offensively, I think the guys up front did exactly what, you know, we game plan to do. Uh, you know, get a 100 yard rusher every game. Uh, protect the quarterback, and you know we did just that. I'm gonna try to step up and be that guy. You know I'm gonna try to step up and, and ask for the ball and come through to cut the tough catches and in crunch time go to me. Yeah, I want to be that. What's important to me is winning. You know while I'm out there playing, it, it really doesn't matter how many yards I get or uh, how many touchdowns I get. Uh, long as long as it's, it's a win. You know the offensive line up there handling their business and everything. You know. And uh, Troy's out there throwing great and be putting points on the board. That's, that's what matters to me when out there playing. It's like people forget, you know, we're still the Silver Bullets. We're still Ohio State. You know, it's not like we're going to just toss our hats in there because, you know, all those guys graduated last year. We still got to have a great team, and it's still, we still have to have a great unit for us to have a chance to have a big year. You know, I was thinking in the locker room, I think I'm going to savor this victory for tonight. And as soon as my eyes open tomorrow, from this Sunday tomorrow until next Sunday, I think all Texas, all Texas. Ohio State had to replace nine players on the defense, and at times that inexperience showed this afternoon. The Buckeyes gave up 275 total yards to All-American running back Garrett Wolf. Scary numbers as the Buckeyes get set for third-ranked Texas next weekend in Austin. Reporting from Ohio Stadium, I'm Joe Daneman, Fox 19 Sports. Thank you, Joe. And that reminder, Saturday, Ohio State travels to Austin for that matchup with the defending champs of college football, the Texas Longhorns. Last year, you remember, Buckeyes losing a heartbreaker to the Horns, 25-22. Texas opening its season today, of course, without Vince Young. He's in the big show now, Tennessee Titans. Colt McCoy is his replacement. You know what? He did just fine. Third play, McCoy connects over the middle. Lima Swede, he breaks a tackle. He has gone 60 yards for the the score just the first of many for Texas today this pair hooking up again in the third quarter thanks to just some awful tackling here or lack thereof Swede turns a short gain into a 29 yard touchdown McCoy three TDs he runs for another Texas rolls over northern Texas 56 to 7. Lloyd Carr and the Wolverines in the big house today taking on Vanderbilt pick it up in the third quarter Michigan only up by six but not anymore Chad Henney the bullet to Tyler Ecker in the end zone makes the nice grab for the score Michigan up 20 to 7 Henney only 10 of 22 today but two of those going for touchdowns including this one 27 yards Mario Manningham in the corner Michigan gets by Vanderbilt 27 to 7. 
Marshall in West Virginia, this in-state battle got heated early. A couple of personal fouls on both teams. Coaches weren't happy. Mountaineers getting down to business in the second. Pat White, Brandon Miles, 18 yards. That's Miles' second TD of the game. That makes it 21-0 West Virginia. Still in the second. This time, it's Steve Slayton. Gets the handoff outside, 16 yards for the score. He goes for 203 yards, two touchdowns as West Virginia cruises 42 to 10. All right, we have to step out and pay some bills, but don't go away. There is still plenty left on our sports plate.